Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie, aka Stephanie Yos. I make food and travel related content and I finally have a holiday related video for you all. And even better, this is in collaboration with one of my YouTube friends and sisters, Vazi G. So Vazi is a YouTuber based in the UK and she is basically your London food and travel tour guide. She's also super funny and energetic and her editing style is so cute and quirky. I love it. Guys, it's Vasi. I'm so excited to be collaborating with Steffi and uh, to be part of this video. On my channel, I like giving you suggestions on restaurants that you can try on the budget. I also post travel related content and vlogs from London because this is where I live together with my boyfriend Ben. Hello everybody, Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. And even though we're halfway across the world from each other, we realized that we both love food and travel. So to celebrate the holiday season, we all wanted to show you all some differences of how Christmas is celebrated in the US and the UK. So in this video, we're gonna be highlighting Christmas treats, decorations, and how recent restrictions have affected travel in our areas. So after watching this video, please check out our other video on her channel, which I will link up above, and I will link in the description below. And in that video, we're gonna highlight Christmas meals and how to exchange gifts. So without further ado, let's get to our first topic, Christmas treats. So it is of no surprise that Americans love sweets. And there are so many treats that you can have during the holiday season. A lot of people like to make cookies, whether it's sugar cookies that they can then decorate with frosting and candies, there's snickerdoodle, peppermint cookies, good old chocolate chip. Another popular thing that people like to do is make gingerbread houses. So you can buy a gingerbread kit from any supermarket really, and it's pretty easy. You know, you just put the pieces together, decorate with frosting and candies, and there you have it, you have a gingerbread house. And actually no one eats them, so it's a bit of a waste, but it's still a fun tradition. Uh, peppermint candy canes are also really popular. I personally don't like them. I like candy canes that are not peppermint, but the peppermint candy cane is what you'll see most often. People also like to drink hot chocolate, myself included. I love hot chocolate. I actually got some the other day. Also gotta give a quick shout out to eggnog. I'm not even sure if people actually like eggnog. Eggnog is something that people forget even exists until Christmas comes around. So those are just some of the treats that Americans like to enjoy during Christmas. So how about Christmas treats in the UK? Let's ask Vazi. I'm actually from Bulgaria and he's Italian, so we are very mixed cultures in here, but that doesn't matter because I would love to tell you about British people and how do they celebrate Christmas. And starting with the desserts, they are actually very important part of the Christmas tradition in here. And the most popular ones are mince pie that, believe it or not, there is no meat in there. Another famous dessert is the English trifle. It's got all of these layers. First, there's a layer of lady fingers, then a layer of jam, then custard, as berries, more lady fingers, then beef sautéed with peas and onions, <laughs> and then a little bit more custard, and then bananas, and then I just put some whipped cream on top. And uh, of course, the one of the most traditional foods is the Christmas pudding, which is so rich and dense because it's just full of uh, fruit and alcohol. However, as the UK and especially London is a very international city, it has also become very common to have desserts from uh, other parts of the world, for example, Italian panettone or a uh, German stolen. Wow, that is super cool. I really wanna try a mince pie, even if it doesn't have meat, it looks really appetizing. And now we're gonna talk about decorations. So here in the US, a lot of homeowners like to decorate the outside and inside of their homes. So on the outside of their homes, you may see a lot of Christmas lights, decorations such as snowmen, Santa Claus, and Mrs. Claus. There's actually one house in my neighborhood that had a Grinch decoration, which I thought was awesome because I love the Grinch. On the inside of the homes, you might see more Christmas lights, more holiday themed decorations, but the main player is the Christmas tree. And you can have a real tree or a fake tree. I feel that people are really divided when it comes to real and fake trees, so it really just depends on your preference. And again, you can decorate with ornaments, uh, Christmas lights, which is my personal favorite thing, and then you top it off with that big, beautiful star. And that's how you make a Christmas tree. And speaking of Christmas trees, I wanted to show you some decorations and Christmas lights as seen in my local outdoor shopping area. I 
bet London is looking beautiful this time of year. So let's look to our London tour guide, Vasi, to see what London looks like during Christmas. Thank you, Steffi. Oh, wow, they sure do love their decorations in the US. And now I want to show you the decorations here in London, which, to be honest with you, London is my favorite place to be during Christmas because every famous street or a shopping area or even small stores make sure to have their festive decoration around Christmas time. And I will just show you my five favorites because we just can't cover all of it in this video. Starting with Regent Street, which started the whole Christmas light tradition back in 1954. And the famous spirits are once again back above Regent Street this year with an inspiration from its very first display. My total favorite is Carnaby Street because every year they have a different collaboration. This year Carnaby collaborated with Choose Love which is charity from Help Refugees and another super beautiful place it's Bond Street which this year is lit with lights in the shape of white peacock feathers and you might recognize this one because this is Harrods and it's one of the most luxurious department stores around the world and every Christmas they have this golden super cute light this year there is also this special installation in front of Tate Britain Museum which celebrates the light over darkness and remembers a brave new world I am so amazed at how many beautiful shots that Vazi was able to get. It really makes me wish that I was in London right now. So for the last topic of today's video, it is an interesting one. How recent restrictions have affected travel in the US and the UK. So this holiday season is different and unprecedented for all of us. So I live in California, which has some of the strictest restrictions in the United States. As of December 6, most counties in my area were ordered to go back into lockdown. That means no indoor or outdoor dining at restaurants and non-essential businesses have been forced to close, which includes salons, gyms, movie theaters, and so on. I am not necessarily complaining, but it has put a damper on things to do for holiday season. And when it comes to travel, non-essential travel is frowned upon. Some people are doing it anyway, but I am making the conscious choice to stay home this holiday season. I'm going to keep wearing my mask, I'm going to keep supporting local businesses when I can, and ultimately I am going to be spending my holiday season here at home, uh, just, you know, relaxing after work, probably playing some cyberpunk on PS4. You know, I'm making the choice to stay safe so that I can travel another day and possibly collab with Vazzy in person in London. Wouldn't that be cool? So now let's get a glimpse of what lockdown looks like in London. Vazzy, how you doing? That's a great question, Steffi. So actually, until December the 2nd, we were in a national lockdown for the second time. But after this date, we, the country was divided into three different tiers. And here in London, we are in tier two, which basically means that shops and uh, restaurants are open, but there are a lot of restrictions and measurements to that. This is so fun to watch because literally the next day after I filmed this, they put London into tier 3, which basically means that pretty much everything is closed again, restaurants are closed and only some shops are open. Thank you so so much Vazzy, I had a great time learning about the different tiers and what they mean in the UK. I know that this is hard, but we will get through this together. To end this special collab, we wanted to share with you one fun fact about the UK and the US. Vazzy, hit me with a fun fact about the UK. A fun fact about Christmas in the UK is that here we have these Christmas crackers which when you twist them a surprise present will come out. And let me know, have you ever seen them somewhere? Because I never had seen them anywhere else before I actually came to the UK. That's super cool, I didn't know that. And now for a fun fact about the United States. Did you know that the US does not have an official language? And after English, the most common languages spoken in the 
US are Spanish, Mandarin, Tagalog, Vietnamese, and French. So everyone, that is it for today's video. I hope that you all learned something new and interesting. Let me know in the comments below what you thought was really fun. Vazzy and I had so much fun collaborating on this, especially from halfway across the world. Thank you, Steffi, for having me in your channel. I had such a great time collaborating with you and of course showing you guys how is London and the UK during this difficult period. And if you haven't seen already my video where we talk about Christmas meals, traditions and some fun facts, don't forget to check it out. I would love to see you all in there. Thank you for having me. Bye! And remember to like and subscribe for more food and travel related content from the both of us. So everyone from the UK to the US, we wish you all a happy holidays. Thank you so much. Stay safe and we'll see you all next time. Bye.